Hi everyone and welcome back. So it has been two months since we lost the legend Al Simmons aka DMX. Now as the world continues to mourn his family is still trying to sort out his estate and his finances. Now DMX's fiance Desiree Lindstrom filled out recently filled out court documents to be declared as DMX's common law wife but a judge has denied it. It is not clear why. The couple got engaged in 2019 and they share a five-year-old son and it is believed that they have been together for eight years. Now it's up for question who will have control over X's estate if Desiree was granted being named his common law wife, this would mean that she would immediately have acquired primary custody of X's estate, including future music earnings. However, DMX did not leave a will, so the family is now trying to figure out who will be named as administrator of the estate. Now, there's no will from DMX, and that's a very big problem. This is a difficult situation to be honest because several people are vying to be named as administrators. I mean, his fiance tried to muscle in by asking the court to be named as his common law wife, which means she would have taken precedence over his children, but the court refused. Ex's older children are trying to figure out how much their dad's estate is worth. His daughters Sasha Simmons and Jada Odin filed documents on May the 10th and according to their findings they say that DMX's estate is worth less than $50,000. So it is understood that DMX has a final album which is meant to be coming out shortly and so potentially this could also create more reason for his family to fight about you know the proceeds of this particular album dmx had a fiance he had baby mamas and he had several children and also a, an ex-wife from his previous relationship so one of the easiest things that i feel that dmx could have done is to create a will for his family so that his fiance and his family wouldn't have to be fighting over his estate and i guess this is something for women to bear in mind that being in a relationship with someone for eight years plus and then really having no claim to what they have in terms of assets it's really not the way to go because it now puts his fiance in a position where actually he doesn't put her in any position because she is not legally married to him so therefore in actual fact it is his previous wife's first child who is known as the next of kin who will be deciding who is going to how those assets are going to be distributed and i think that one of the biggest things that stood out for me in this particular situation is that his fiance it is said that she was with him for eight years plus and she got denied common law marriage because it is not considered as official even though she was his fiance listen legally she, she doesn't have any rights in terms of distributing and um deciding who is going to take on his assets and his estate so now she potentially won't even be able to take care of his child the way that he would have wanted to because of the situation of not having a will and for those people that say that marriage is just a piece of paper marriage is not important i guess that this is that type of situation where is it is not just a piece of paper because we can clearly see that it is important for somebody to have an identified situation in terms of their marital status when it comes to deciding how their family wealth is going to be distributed and there's been a string of black men you know iconic um, black men that basically when they've passed away they've had no wills so you know nipsey hassle even chadwick boseman so they died without a will and maybe some of them probably didn't expect to die maybe some of them did but i guess this kind of shows us that it's really important for us to take care of our family you know whilst we're still alive in terms of getting our 
you know our finances and things like that in order in just just in preparation just in case of anything happening and and i think as as a man i think it's really important it's one of the most important things to make sure that you or your family have a will so that you can dictate how things will be left for your family and so i don't really know how this situation is going to play out with regards to dmx's will and how his assets are going to be allocated but we understand that a decision is going to be made on july the 15th whereby we will find out who has been nominated and who has been accepted to be the next of kin in terms of um looking after his estate so make sure that you stay watching on this channel and i'll definitely be updating you with how this particular story unfolds thank you so much for watching and i hope that this um video has given you something to think about in terms of wills and and being organized about our finances and um you know just leave me a comment and a like tell me what you think about this particular situation happy happy birthday to me april 10th 1971 wow what a ride what a journey. As I close up the last 50 years of my life, I rejoice and I thank God for everything it has taught me, the journeys that it took me through, the hurt, the pain, the triumph, the resistance, the resilience, the learning lessons, the relationships, the power. I celebrate my life today, grateful to God for the 50 he has given me. But now I also celebrate my ex-husband, my best friend, my spiritual partner, my mentor. But I also thank God for his life and his peace and his journey and his life lessons that was passed on and that will live on for generations to come.